The next chapter will show you a different approach to program on multiple sites. This approach is called virtual site. Before creating the virtual site, you need to check if all conditions to create a virtual site are ok. The first condition is that all sites have to be the same product. For example, dual servers. This means a virtual site can only consist of dual servers or only player software or only quad players and so on. The second condition is that all sites have the same number and kind of layers mounted. Delete or add layers if needed to achieve this condition. Another useful feature is to rename sites and layers, especially outputs and cameras, to better identify these after adding everything into one virtual site. I will call site 2, projector 1 and 2, site 3, projector 3 and 4, and site 4, projector 5 and 6. The cameras I will call out projector 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Same applies for the outputs. To create the virtual site, please select all three dual server sites and perform a right click. Then choose Create Virtual Site. The pop-up window informs you that all program keys will be deleted. Please be aware that this step is not recorded for the undo function. Using virtual sites or not should be a decision before starting programming. Now you can see that all three sites are bundled together in one virtual site. Open the device tree will show the virtual devices. Virtual layer 1 is connected to all layer 1 of former site 2, 3 and 4. That means putting a texture on virtual layer 1 is the same as putting the same texture on layer 1 on site 2, layer 1 on site 3, and layer 1 on site 4 separately on a former site as you may remember from the first task of this tutorial. The amount of cameras and outputs is still the same as in the single site setup to have different output and camera settings while using a virtual site. You can use the height function to temporarily optimize the view on the device tree and hide layers, cameras or outputs you should not see all the time. Hidden layers will still be displayed on the output and key values will still perform. Removing a layer will completely erase this layer. Parameters have not to be watched by Pandora's box and gives a little performance advantage. Try to keep the device tree as clean as possible. This improves performance and overview. After erasing all the programming, please try now to get back the same settings for the 3x2 projector setup. Use the test pattern again to arrange cameras. Therefore, you can use the previously created camera presets.
After that, try running a single picture in picture going around through all six screens and check displays on each output. Please remember to turn on the preview for the virtual site.